So this just came in over the past few days. It's a World War II German Luftwaffe Flyers helmet for winter with accommodation for earphones. And the type is an LKP W101. And the labels denote what type of helmet it is. The W denotes it's for winter wear, which means it's padded with a, a fleece interior. The 101 is the actual model of helmet. The 101, in this instance, what makes it a 101 is that the, the earphone housings are covered externally in dark brown leather with a moulded notch for retaining the strap of the flying goggles and the, the forehead strap which was anchored to the back of the crown of the helmet was housed inside a flat tunnel. Okay, so that's the the retaining strap for the for the oxygen mask and it has a flat tunnel there that it passes through. There's a buckle on there. When the oxygen mask is worn, okay, oxygen mask sits there, it has three fixing points. One part of the oxygen mask fixes to there by a buckle and it fixes there by a buckle and then when the oxygen mask is there there's an additional strap that comes up here and it fastens through there the chin straps which are always missing are separate pieces one chin strap would come down the side here through the buckle under the neck another chin strap would come through the buckle under the neck and fasten and you have the throat mics which for communication purposes are fastened to this a y-shaped piece of leather which has the uh, wiring in the wiring goes up through this little tunnel you have external wiring with a male jack plug on attaches to a female jack plug in the aircraft and that's how you get communications on the back you have these two leather retainers for the flying goggles. Now the LKP W101 was very similar to the LKP100. Um, it's made of dark brown goat's leather with a white lamb's wool lining. The earphone protective housings with dark brown bakelite and it has two snap fastened leather straps located vertically at the back of the helmet to keep the goggles in place. The helmet had twin leather chin straps which were fastened on either cheek of the helmet by a single pronged metal buckle. The oxygen mask was attached to three points in the helmet, a metal hook on each side and the additional buckle on the top held it all in place. The openings for the earphones on the inside of the helmet were rimmed with a light tan leather covered metal plate and were lined with lamb's wool to prevent undue pressure on the ears. So that is the LKP W101 Luftwaffe Flyers Helmet. So you have this goat's leather, really nice condition, really supple. And you have these sections which hold the earphones, the buckles, Again, that side, and you have, we'll do the throat mic section under the chin. Okay, so we've undone the popper. If we turn it around, you can see how the throat mics are fixed. See the throat mics, which is that one there, and that one there. The go up here into this section and the wiring is up there comes out here into the aircraft so you can see how that goes and when in use it buckles under the throat and the mics are just nicely marked up i'm sure you've seen the film battle of britain where they push them into the throat and it gives them communication that's the top of the strap which holds the strap for the oxygen mask in place this is elasticated so that it adjusts and there's a little buckle there 
and if we look inside it it has the label which gives the designation of the piece inside you have this really nice lamb's wool inner you can see the earphones with this additional thicker padded lamb's wool section same on that side as well metal earphones inside with this additional thicker padded section in the back you have a little bit of damage there but you have the label which gives the designation LKPW 101 as opposed to an LKPW 100 or any of the other various German Luftwaffe Flyers helmets so that is the designation of this particular style of helmet LKPW 101 W means winter or for use in a cold climate hence it's lamb's wool padded inside so that's my new addition a Luftwaffe flying helmet complete with the throat mic so it gives me a good basis to build on a set of lufty goggles which I don't have and a lufty oxygen mask and I think I may have a photograph of the type of mask in use now if I can find it yeah here we are now remember when I said that the oxygen mask has three fixing points there's a fixing point there it has a fixing point there and then a bit goes up the nose and it fixes there well that's the type of mask that's worn with this type of helmet you can see it clips in one side it clips in the other side a bit goes up the nose and it buckles to the top and it's the the model hm5 and hm15 oxygen mask so that's the type of mask used on this type of helmet so nice addition Luftwaffe flying helmet bye for now